comes on the third anniversary of the tragedy at Sandy Hook. The victims' families came together this evening to remember and mark what has changed in the past three years. News 8's Bob Wilson is in Newtown. Well, tonight we're here at the Newtown Police Department. Just a couple of doors up on the left-hand side is the Episcopal Church. That's where that vigil has been going on all night long. It started around 7 o'clock. And inside, people mourning the loss of those 20 children and six educators whose lives were cut short. They're also looking forward to the future of Connecticut, remembering those lives so those lives will not be wasted. A giant flag flies at half-staff as people file into the church in silence. They're here to remember the loss three years ago and reflect on the changes Connecticut has made to gun laws and mental health. Dr. Howard Schwartz is a psychiatric in chief at the Institute of Living. He says state spending on mental health went up the first two years after Sandy Hook, but now it's started to be cut. And that's an alarming trend. That would argue that, well, there was a burst of interest and a burst of activity at the state level, but it's not being sustained. Dr. Schwartz says you have to increase spending if you want to increase access to mental health. And he says the second part is to decrease access to guns. To say that by improving the mental health system, we're going to solve our gun violence problem uh, is naive and just frankly wrong. We've got to address guns. Since Sandy Hook, Connecticut lawmakers have banned certain aspects of the AR-15, which now makes them illegal in Connecticut. They've also banned high-capacity magazines, limiting them to 10 rounds. And this month, Governor Malloy proposed banning gun sales to people on the federal no-fly list. But retiring Newtown Police Chief Michael Kehoe says that lawmakers need to go after the gun manufacturers. Because there's a fear, maybe it's unfounded, that, um, that we're going to take away guns, as opposed to just listen to being smarter about what we're doing and how we manufacture guns. And others around Sandy Hook and Newtown remembering those lost in different ways. They've all, though, asked for privacy to be able to mourn the loss and remember the anniversary in private. We're in Newtown. Bob Wilson, News 8.